Decoration Day as a time for the nation to decorate the graves of the war dead with flowers. Major General John A. Logan declared that Decoration Day should be observed on May 30th, 1868. In 1971, the United States Congress declared the last... the last Monday in May to be observed as Memorial Day. Today, we always adapt and overcome. <laughs> Today, as a community, we gather to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. General Logan's order for his post to decorate graves in 1868 with, quote, the choicest of flowers of springtime. He urged, quote, we should guard their graves with sacred vigilance. Let pleasant paths invite the coming and going of reverent visitors and fond mourners. Let no neglect, no ravages of time, testify to the present or to the coming generations that we have forgotten as a people the cost 
of a free and undivided republic. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand, and men, please uncover the Pledge of Allegiance led by the Creek Park District Preschool, followed immediately by the playing of God Bless America by Creek Pony High School Marching Band. <coughs> Standing. Please welcome Pastor. Please welcome Pastor Frank Italiano, Pastor of Trinity Lutheran. Actually, you need to be seated. That's fine. Today we are here for um, a word, I guess. Sacrifice. Sacrifice means giving up one thing for another thing. You sacrifice something because you find a value and worth in the other thing. And the more value you find here, the more you're willing to give up and sacrifice. A parent of a young baby will stay up at night to make sure the baby's fed and, and diapers change and they place value in their child, so they sacrifice for it. Students on a track team will, will sacrifice time and energy and effort to, to achieve their best and f even for their team and for a coach. Firemen and policemen and first responders are willing to put their life in jeopardy because they find value in those who are in need. For me personally, a, a, a picture that defines sacrifice is one of my dad. As he's just about to leave for World War II, he was married and a young boy, my oldest brother. And as he is in his dress uniform for the Navy, my, little, my older brother is in his little toy uniform. If you think of someone like that willing to sacrifice time and with his family, seeing his child grow up. So many were willing to do that because they found value in protecting our nation. Now he came back. We're here today to honor those who did not come back, who gave their lives, who sacrificed their lives because they found value in our freedom, in our protection, in our country. I, as a Christian myself, I can't help but re be reminded of what Jesus did. Jesus who found 
tremendous value in us, in all people of, of all time, who came not to be served, but to serve and give his life for us all. It is good that we honor and we remember those who have sacrificed for us. Today we're here to honor those who sacrificed their lives for us. And so I'm going to offer a prayer, and I totally understand that we're not all of one faith, so if, uh, if you want to lend your thoughts to my prayer, you're more than welcome to, and if you don't want to, you're, you're more than welcome to, but I'm going to say a quick prayer here. Dear Father in Heaven, we thank you for the sacrifice, the, 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 the desire and willingness of so many people to set aside things they think are important for something they think is even more important. Lord, we thank you for those in the military who have sacrificed their lives for us and our country. May we never forget what they have done. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce today's invited speaker, Sergeant Eden Punte. Sergeant Punte served in the United States Army, 1st 320th Field Artillery, 101st Airborne Division from 2002 to 2007. Sergeant Punte deployed to Iraq, the area of Baghdad, Mosul, and Taji. During his service, Sergeant Punta was awarded a Purple Heart for wounds received in action in January of 2004. Please welcome Sergeant Punta. Thank you, everybody. Um, since the last Memorial Day, there have been 30 ser 34 service members killed in action. Can we please have a moment? To, can we please have a moment of silence to honor them on their first memorial? Thank you. 